Livonia is a historic region along the eastern shores of the Baltic Sea. It was once the land of the Finnic Livonians inhabiting the principal ancient Livonian county Metzpil with its center at Chirada. The most prominent ruler of ancient Livonia was Corpo of Chirada. During the Livonian Crusade, ancient Livonia was colonized by the Livonian Brothers of the Sword, later called the Livonian Order, and the name Livonia came to designate a much broader territory, Terra Mariana on the eastern coasts of the Baltic Sea, in present-day northern part of Latvia and southern part of Estonia. Its frontiers were the Gulf of Riga and the Gulf of Finland in the northwest, Lake Vipers and Russia to the east, and Lithuania to the south. Livonia was inhabited by various Baltic and Finnic peoples, ruled by an upper class of Baltic Germans. Over the course of time, some nobles were polonized into the Polish Euro-Lithuanian nobility or became part of the Swedish nobility during Swedish Livonia or Russified into the Russian nobility. History Beginning in the 12th century, Livonia was an area of economic and political expansion by Danes and Germans, particularly by the Hanseatic League and the Cistercian Order. Around 1160, Hanseatic traders from La One Quarterbeck established a trading post on the site of the future city of Riga, which Albrecht von Buxhoeven founded in 1201. He ordered the construction of a cathedral and became the first Prince Bishop of Livonia. Equals Livonian Brothers of the Sword 1204 Euro 1237 equals. Bishop Albert of Riga founded the military order of the Livonian Brothers of the Sword in 1202. Pope Innocent III sanctioned the establishment in 1204. The membership of the order comprised German warrior monks. Alternative names of the order include the Christ Knights, Sword Brethren, and the Militia of Christ of Livonia. Following their defeat by Lithuania in the Battle of Sol in 1236, the surviving brothers merged into the Teutonic Order as an autonomous branch and became known as the Livonian Order. Albert, Bishop of Riga, founded the Brotherhood to aid the Bishopric of Riga in the conversion of the pagan Curonians, Livonians, Semigalians, and Latgalians living on the shores of the Gulf of Riga. From its foundation, the undisciplined order tended to ignore its supposed vassalage to the bishops. In 1218, Albert asked King Valdemar II of Denmark for assistance, but Valdemar instead arranged a deal with the Brotherhood and conquered the north of Estonia for Denmark. The Brotherhood had its headquarters at Felin in present-day Estonia, where the walls of the Master's Castle still stand. Other strongholds included Wenden, Segwold and Askaraden. The commanders of Felin, Koldingen, Marienburg, Raval, and the bailiff of Wienstein belonged to the five-member entourage of the Order's master. Pope Gregory IX asked the brothers to defend Finland from the Novgorodian attacks in his letter of November 24, 1232. However, no known information regarding the Knights' possible activities in Finland has survived. In the Battle of Sol in 1236 the Lithuanians and Semigalians decimated the Order. This disaster led the surviving brothers to become incorporated into the Order of Teutonic Knights in the following year, and from that point on they became known as the Livonian Order. They continued, however, to function in all respects as an autonomous branch of the Teutonic Order, headed by their own master. Equals Livonian Crusade 1206 a Euro 1227 equals. The Chronicle of Henry of Livonia from the 1220s gives a first-hand account of the Christianization of Livonia, granted as a fief by the Hohenstaufen Holy Roman Emperor, de facto but not known as the King of Germany, Philip of Swabia, to Bishop Albert of Buxhoeven, nephew of the Hartwig II, Archbishop of Bremen, who sailed with a convoy of ships filled with armed crusaders to carve out a Catholic territory in the east during the Livonian Crusade. Equals monastic state of the Teutonic Knights 1224 Euro 1237 equals. From 1236, Livonia consisted of the following subdivisions, a state ruled by the Livonian Order founded by Albert in 1202, which was assimilated into the Teutonic Knights in 1237. The Bishopric of Riga. The Bishoprics of Courland, Aselwik, and Dorpat, where Albert's brother Hermann established himself as the Prince Bishop. The conquest of Livonia by the Germans is described in the Livonian Rhymed Chronicle. Equals Livonian Order 1237 a Euro 1561 equals. 
the Livonian Order was a largely autonomous branch of the Teutonic Knights and a member of the Livonian Confederation from 1418 Euro 1561. After being defeated by Lithuania in the 1236 Battle of Saul, the remnants of the Livonian Brothers of the Sword were incorporated into the Teutonic Knights as the Livonian Order in 1237. Between 1237 and 1290, the Livonian Order conquered all of Courland, Livonia, and Semigalia, but their attack on northern Russia was repelled in the Battle of Rakvair. In 1346, after St. George's Night Uprising the Order bought the rest of Estonia from King Vormafor of Denmark. Life within the Order's territory is described in the Chronicle of Henry of Livonia and the Livonian Rhymed Chronicle. The Teutonic Order fell into decline following its defeat in the Battle of Grunwald in 1410 and the secularization of its Prussian territories by Albert of Brandenburg in 1525, but the Livonian Order managed to maintain an independent existence. During many years of Livonian War, however, they suffered a decisive defeat by troops of Muscovite Russia in the Battle of Egem in 1560 and continued living under great threat. Letters to the Emperor arrived from many European countries, warning that Moscow has its eyes on much more than only a few harbors or the province of Leaf Land. The East Sea are equally in danger. Duke Barnum the Elder, fifty years Duke of Pomerania, warned that never before did he experience the fear than now, where even in his land, where people send by Moscow or everywhere. At stake was the Narva trade route and practically all trade in the north, and with that all of Europe. Due to religious upheavals of the Reformation the Empire could not send troops, which it could not afford and which were too far away anyway. Prussia was not able to help for much of the same reason, and Duke Albrecht was under continuous ban by the Emperor. The Hanseatic League was greatly weakened by this and the city-state of Lübeck fought its last great war. The Emperor Maximilian II diffused the greatest threat by remaining on friendly terms with the Tsar, but not sending him troops as requested in his struggles with the Polish Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Tsar Ivan of Moscow installed Duke Magnus as King of Livonia. This was opposed by the other forces. The Livonian order saw no other way than to seek protection from Sigismund II of Augustus, the King of Poland and the Grand Duke of Lithuania, who had intervened in a war between Bishop William of Riga and the brothers in 1557. After coming to an agreement with Sigismund II of Augustus and his representatives, the last Livonian master, Goch that Ketler, secularized the order and converted to Lutheranism. In the southern part of the brothers' lands he created the Duchy of Courland and Semigalia for his family. Most of the remaining lands were seized by the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The north of Estonia was taken back by Denmark and Sweden. From the 14th to the 16th centuries, Middle Low German as spoken in the towns of the Hanseatic League was the established language, but was subsequently succeeded by High German as official language in the course of the 16th and 17th centuries. Equals Livonian Confederation 1418 a Euro 1561 equals The five ecclesiastical states of the Holy Roman Empire in medieval Livonia were organized into the Livonian Confederation in 1418. A Diet or Landtag was formed in 1419. The city of Wark was chosen as the site of the Diet. Equals Livonian War 1558 a Euro 1583 equals Ferdinand I, Holy Roman Emperor once again asked for help of Gustav I of Sweden, and the Kingdom of Poland also began direct negotiations with Gustav, but nothing resulted because on September 29, 1560, Gustav I Vasa died. The chances for success of Magnus and his supporters look particularly good in 1560. In the former case, he had been recognized as their sovereign by the bishopric of Aselwik and the bishopric of Courland, and as their prospective ruler by the authorities of the bishopric of Dorpat. The bishopric of Reval with the Harry and Weirland gentry were on his side. Livonian order conditionally recognized his right of ownership of Estonia. Then along with Archbishop Wilhelm von Brandenburg of the Archbishopric of Riga and his coadjutor Christoph von Mecklenburg, Ketteler gave to Magnus the portions of the Kingdom of Livonia, which he had taken possession of, but they refused to give him any more land. Once Eric XIV of Sweden became king he took quick actions to get involved in the war. He negotiated a continued peace with Muscovy and spoke to the burghers of Reval city. 
he offered them goods to submit to him as well as threatening them. By June 6, 1561 they submitted to him contrary to the persuasions of Ketelet to the Burgers. The king's brother Joan married the Polish princess Catherine Zgielin. Wanting to obtain his own land in Livonia, he loaned Poland money and then claimed the castles they had pawned as his own instead of using them to pressure Poland. After Joan returned to Finland, Eric XIV forbade him to deal with any foreign countries without his consent. Shortly after that Eric XIV started acting quickly lost any allies he was about to obtain either from Magnus or the Archbishop of Riga. Magnus was upset he had been tricked out of his inheritance of Holstein. After Sweden occupied Raval, Frederick II of Denmark made a treaty with Eric XIV of Sweden in August 1561. The brothers were in great disagreement and Frederick II negotiated a treaty with Ivan IV on August 7, 1562 in order to help his brother obtain more land and stall further Swedish advance. Eric XIV did not like this and the Northern Seven Years' War between the free city of La one quarter Beck, Denmark, Poland, and Sweden broke out. While only losing land and trade, Frederick II and Magnus were not faring well. But in 1568 Eric XIV became insane and his brother Joan III took his place. Joan III ascended to the throne of Sweden and due to his friendship with Poland he began a policy against Muscovy. He would try to obtain more land in Livonia and exercise strength over Denmark. After all parties had been financially drained, Frederick II let his ally, King Sigismund II of Augustus of Polish a Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth, know that he was ready for peace. On December 15, 1570, the Treaty of Stettin was concluded. It is, however, more difficult to estimate the scope and magnitude of the support Magnus received in Livonian cities. Compared to the Harry and Weirland gentry, the Raval city council, and hence probably the majority of citizens, demonstrated a much more reserved attitude towards Denmark and King Magnus of Livonia. Nevertheless, there is no reason to speak about any strong pro-Swedish sentiments among the residents of Raval. The citizens who had fled to the bishopric of Dorpat or had been deported to Muscovy hailed Magnus as their saviour until 1571. The analysis indicates that during the Livonian War a pro-independence wing emerged among the Livonian gentry and townspeople, forming the so-called Peace Party. Dismissing hostilities, these forces perceived an agreement with Muscovy as a chance to escape the atrocities of war and avoid the division of Livonia. That is why Magnus, who represented Denmark and later struck a deal with Ivan the Terrible, proved a suitable figurehead for this faction. The Peace Party, however, had its own armed forces a Euro scattered bands of household troops under diverse command, which only united in action in 1565, in 1570 a Euro 1571 and in 1574 a Euro 1576. In 1575 after Muscovy attacked Danish claims in Livonia, Frederick II dropped out of the competition as well as the Holy Roman Emperor. After this Joan III held off on his pursuit for more land due to Muscovy obtaining lands that Sweden controlled. He used the next two years of truce to get in a better position. In 1578, he resumed the fight for not only Livonia, but also everywhere due to an understanding he made with Rizek's Pospolita. In 1578 Magnus retired to Rizek's Pospolita and his brother Albert gave up the land in Livonia. Equals Duchy of Livonia 1561 a Euro 1621 equals. In 1561, during the Livonian War, Livonia fell to the Grand Duchy of Lithuania with vassal dependency from Lithuania. Eight years later, in 1569, when the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and Kingdom of Poland formed Polish a Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Livonia became a joint domain administered directly by the King and Grand Duke. Having rejected peace proposals from its enemies, Ivan the Terrible found himself in a difficult position by 1579, when Crimean Khanate devastated Muscovian territories and burnt down Moscow, the drought and epidemics have fatally affected the economy, Oprachnina had thoroughly disrupted the government, while the Grand Principality of Lithuania had united with the Kingdom of Poland and acquired an energetic leader, Stefan Battery, supported by Ottoman Empire. Stefan Battery replied with a series of three offensives against Muscovy, trying to cut the Kingdom of Livonia from Muscovian territories. During his first offensive in 1579, 
with 22,000 men, he retook Polotsk. During the second, in 1580, with 29,000 strong army, he took Blykiluki, and in 1581 with a 100,000 strong army he started the siege of Pskov. Frederick II of Denmark and Norway had trouble continuing the fight against Muscovy unlike Sweden and Poland. He came to an agreement with John III in 1580 giving him the titles in Livonia. That war would last from 1577 to 1582. Muscovy recognized Polish Euro-Lithuanian control of Ducatus Ultradunensis only in 1582. After Magnus von Liefland died in 1583, Poland invaded his territories in the Duchy of Courland and Frederick II decided to sell his rights of inheritance. Except for the island of Angstromsel, Denmark was out of the Baltic by 1585. As of 1598 in plenty Voivodeship was divided onto, Wenden Voivodeship, Dorpat Voivodeship, Ponawa Voivodeship, based on a guarantee by Sigismund II Augustus from the 1560s, the German language retained its official status. Equals Kingdom of Livonia 1570 a Euro 1578 equals. The armies of Ivan the Terrible were initially successful, taking Pollock and Ponawa and overrunning much of Grand Duchy of Lithuania up to Vilnius. Eventually, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and Kingdom of Poland formed the Polish Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1569 under the Union of Lublin. Eric XIV of Sweden did not like this and the Northern Seven Years' War between the free city of La One Quarter Beck, Denmark, Poland, and Sweden broke out. While only losing land and trade, Frederick II of Denmark and Magnus von Liefland of the Angstrom Selweek did not fare well. But in 1569, Eric XIV became insane and his brother John III of Sweden took his place. After all parties had been financially drained, Frederick II let his ally, King Zygmunt II August, know that he was ready for peace. On December 15, 1570, the Treaty of Stettin was concluded. In the next phase of the conflict, in 1577 Ivan fought took advantage of the Commonwealth's internal strife, and during the reign of Stefan Batry in Poland, invaded Livonia, quickly taking almost the entire territory, with the exception of Riga and Ruhl. In 1578, Magnus of Livonia recognized the sovereignty of the Polish Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Kingdom of Livonia was beaten back by Muscovy on all fronts. In 1578, Magnus of Livonia retired to the bishopric of Courland and his brother Albert gave up the land in Livonia. Equal Swedish Livonia 1629 a Euro 1721 equals. Sweden was given roughly the same area as the former Duchy of Livonia after the 1626 a Euro 1629 Polish a Euro Swedish War. The area, usually known as Swedish Livonia, became a very important Swedish dominion, with Riga being the second largest Swedish city and Livonia paying for one third of the Swedish war costs. Sweden lost Swedish Livonia, Swedish Estonia, and Ingria to Russia almost 100 years later by the capitulation of Estonia and Livonia in 1710 and the Treaty of Nystad in 1721. Equals Livonian Voivodeship 1620 Tsar Euro 1772 equals. The Livonian Voivodeship was a unit of administrative division and local government in the Duchy of Livonia, part of the Polish Euro-Lithuanian Commonwealth, since it was formed in the 1620s out of the Wenden Voivodeship till the first partition of Poland in 1772. Equals Riga Governorate 1721 a Euro 1796 equals. The Russian Empire conquered Swedish Livonia during the course of the Great Northern War and acquired the province in the capitulation of Estonia and Livonia in 1710, confirmed by the Treaty of Nystad in 1721. Peter the Great confirmed German as the exclusive official language. Russia then added Polish Livonia in 1772 during the partitions of Poland. Equals Governorate of Livonia 1796 a Euro 1918 equals. In 1796 the Riga Governorate was renamed as the Governorate of Livonia. Livonia remained within the Russian Empire until the end of World War I, when it was split between the newly independent states of Latvia and Estonia. In 1918 a Euro 1920, both Soviet troops and German Freikorps fought against Latvian and Estonian troops for control over Livonia 
but their attempts were defeated. Equals Governors General of Estonia, Livonia, and Courland 1845 a Euro 1876 equals. From 1845 to 1876, the Baltic Governorates of Estonia, Livonia, and Courland a Euro an area roughly corresponding to the historical medieval Livonia Euro were administratively subordinated to a common Governor General. Amongst the holders of this post were Count Alexander Arkadyevich Suvorov and Count Pyotr Andruovich Shuvalov. Equals Vidzim in independent Latvia 1918 a Euro 1940 equals. In independent Latvia between the world wars, southern Livonia became an administrative region under the traditional Latvian name Vidzim, encompassing the then much larger counties of Rega California Cis, Valmera, and Valka. Equals Osland 1941 a Euro 1944 equals. Osland was one of the Reich's commissariats established, by a decree of the Far One Quarter Red dated July 17, 1941, as administrative units of the Groyuches Reich. They were subject to Reichsliter Alfred Rosenberg, Minister Far One Quarter R. Die Besetzten Ostgebiet. The structure of the Reich's commissariats was defined by the same decree. Local administration in the Reich's commissariats was to be organized under a national director in Estonia, a general director in Latvia and a general advisor in Lithuania. The local administration of the Reich's commissariat Ostland was under Reich Kommissar Hinrich Lohs. Below him there was an administrative hierarchy, a general commissar led each general Bserk, Gbiets commissars and Hauptch commissars administered Kriegsbiets and Hauptchenbiets, respectively. Rosenberg's ministerial authority was, in practice, severely limited. The first reason was that many of the practicalities were commanded elsewhere, the Wehrmacht and the SS managed the military and security aspects, Fritz Sorkel had control over manpower and working areas, Hermann Gar Paragraph Ring and Albert Speer had total management of economic aspects in the territories and the Reich Postal Service administered the East Territories Postal Services. These German central government interventions in the affairs of Ostland, overriding the appropriate ministries was known as Sonderverwaltungen. Later, from September, the civil administration that had been decreed in the previous July was actually set up. Lohs and, for that matter, Koch would not bow to his authority seeking to administer their territories with the independence and authority of Gauleiters. On April 1, 1942 an Arbeitsbrick was established in the civil administration part of the occupied Soviet territories, whereupon Koch and Lohs gradually ceased communication with him, preferring to deal directly with Hitler through Martin Bormann and the party chancellery. In the process they also displaced all other actors including notably the SS, except in central Belarus where HSSPF Erich von dem Barczelewski had a special command encompassing both military and civil administration territories and engaged in anti-partisan atrocities. Equals Baltic countries since 1990 equals. The historical land of Livonia has been split between Latvia and Estonia ever since. The Livonian language is spoken by fewer than 100 individuals as a second language, and is understood to be fast approaching extinction. The last native Livonian speaker died in June 2013. The anthem of Livonians is Miniza Ma, Minsindima sharing the melody of Finnish and Estonian anthems. See also Notes and references External links Deutsch Baltisch Ritter Schaften in Liveland, Kurland, Estland, Uesel, Joan Portanta use Lieder Makart 1573. Arstast, Estonian Manners Portal The English version includes the description of 438 well-preserved historical manners of nowadays Estonia, Atlas of Livonia, or of the two governments and duchies Livonia and Estonia, and of the province of Uesel from the World Digital Library.